thing to add to meals on wheels. People think that it's only for poor people, and they're probably seeing them in South Clarence, an affluent community. What do they need it for? No, that's not true. Um, we, we feed about 80 people now. During COVID, we fed upwards of 120. They get two meals a day, Monday through Friday. That means that Meals on Wheels provides around 800 meals in Clarence alone. But it's not just food. Sometimes it's a new friend. All of the time, it's love. We bring meals to people that can't take care of themselves, that live alone, um, probably being lonely for a couple weeks. Nobody there, nobody at your home, nobody to talk to, anything like that. So these people bring them companionship when they bring the meals to them also. Out of that need, Rock the Barn was born. And in its 16th and final year, its legacy will last forever. It would go towards Meals on Wheels for years for Clarence who said Akron, which helps people forever. The founders of Rock the Barn wanted to find a way to donate to Meals on Wheels way after the festival existed. So instead of just donating the million dollars they raised, they formed an endowment. That endowment takes that money and adds interest to it over time so that Meals on Wheels can continue to receive donations for years to come. People came out of the woodwork to help feed people, and it was beautiful to see. And if you'd also like to help feed people, the final Rock the Barn Festival kicks off on August 20th. But if you can't make it and still want to donate to Meals on Wheels, there's a link in this story on WKBW.com. In Clarence, Ryan Arbogast, 7 Eyewitness News.